We're out here on the coast, Long Beach, Washington, to check out Starvation Alley. Jared and Jessica, what's up? Uh, right now it's 2014 cranberry harvest at Starvation Alley and we are in the process of taking berries off the bog. Our juice is special because it's Washington's only organic fruit. Second to that, the, the way that we process it is pretty unique. It's, it's never heated, it's a raw and pasteurized juice. That is unique and makes, and makes for a good product because I think um, even if you've tasted other 100% cranberry juices, they taste, to me, a little bit pruney. It tastes medicinal. And, and not heating it or concentrating it and, and not sweetening it, I think it keeps a lot of its really bright cranberry fruit flavors. And so it's definitely tart. It's really potent. But at the same time, it's balanced with its natural sugar. And I haven't had any cranberry juice that tastes like it, and I'm really proud of it. For good reason. How'd you get into the cranberry business? Um, so Starvation Alley has been around for a while. The bogs have been here since the late 1800s. We have some vines on our farm that are over 60 years old. And, um, and we took over the bogs in 2010 and began the organic certification process, which is a three-year process that we completed in October of 2013. Uh, the name people ask us about a lot. So Starvation Alley is the nickname of the road that the bogs are located on. And it got that nickname during the Great Depression. And um, Starvation Alley didn't actually have a formal name and it was a little bit of a shanty town where a lot of the um, day laborers for the oyster industry, the cranberry industry lived. And we tried to get rid of the name a couple of times because people were like, you can't have a food name that's called Starvation Alley, or a food company that's called Starvation Alley. But it's our ode to, to people that have always been working hard for food and we're still doing that today. Cool, show us how you harvest the cranberries. Um, so cranberries grow in sort of a sandy, loamy soil. And uh, to harvest them, there's, there's sort of just a big mat of vines and, and a lot of berries, hopefully, on a good year. Um, so to harvest them, we flood the bog uh, with, with water. So we have a couple ponds around us and we pump it into the bog and, and kind of bring the water level up and then drive through with this nifty tractor. Um, and it just sort of rolls over the vines and, and knocks the berries off the vines, at which point they float. Um, and then the, the next phase, we'll, uh, we'll get a bunch of people in here to help us and we'll corral them up into one corner and, and lift them out of the bogs that way. Um, I had no idea I was gonna be a farmer, let alone a cranberry farmer. I guess the, the short story is they're, they're native to the area that I grew up on. Uh, my parents came across a bog about seven years ago and that, that sort of opened the door for me to, to think about farming. And so I chose to move back to, to my hometown about four years ago and, and take on farming is uh, these organically. And so here's Alex. How would you describe the mission, Alex? The mission of the company is, for me, is about creating a market for people to be able to grow cranberries more responsibly and, and be rewarded for that. And that means healthy soil. It also means healthy families, healthy, healthy farmers. Uh, and, you know, I think one way that we figured out to do that is to create beautiful juice and, and, and tell the story all the way through. I love the flavor of your juice, but why don't you add sugar? It's been a pretty strategic decision not to add sugar to our juice. Uh, cranberries are a super fruit. They're known for a lot of their beneficial health properties. There are a ton of vitamin C, there's a ton of antioxidants, and a lot of our customers definitely drink it for the health properties. And when you add sugar to something, it generally negates all of those beneficial health properties. And of course, we do that anyways by generally adding it to tequila, so. Speaking of tequila, what's your favorite cranberry cocktail? I gotta say, it's, it's tough to beat a good glass of gin and, and a little bit of soda water and a lime and some cranberry. I go back and forth. I think my favorite cocktail is a twist on a traditional Negroni. So instead of doing Campari, it's uh, close to equal parts cranberry juice, gin, and sweet vermouth, and then a twist. I really like it with tequila or mezcal. Um, gin also is a, is a great combo. My favorite cocktail is like a pretty simple Moscow Mule. Anything with ginger, ginger beer and cranberry, I'm pretty happy. So bust out your best barware and mix up some cocktails with Starvation Alley Farms cranberry juice. It is amazing. <laughs>